Today we're going to continue our unit on volume and our learning target is I can determine the volume of a figure given the top side and or front view. So we've been focused on focusing on the base layer and counting the layers and we're still going to do that but we're going to use some other strategies as well especially when you don't have unit cubes at home to help you. So we need to pull in some other resources. So what is the volume of this rectangular prism? If you look at this one based on what you know, can you figure out how many are in each layer? how many layers tall it is, what's its length, its width, its height. Look at its top, its side, its front view to help you determine this. And when I look at this picture, I can kind of, I can't see the bottom layer very well, but let's look at this top view. Okay, if I counted the top, I know that each layer has the same number in it. So two, four, six, eight, ten. It looks like there's ten unit cubes in this top layer. So I bet if there's ten in the top, there's also ten in the bottom. Okay, because we know that each layer in the rectangular prism is going to be the same. Here's a video of us using some manipulatives of our unit cubes to show us building this. Our first layer is 10 unit cubes, which we determine by looking at that top view of the picture. Okay, so that's your base layer, your first layer. And then your second layer of 10 unit cubes will go on top of that. And as we build that, thinking in terms of layers, each layer has 10, it's two layers tall. And right now I'm taking a look at the top view of it. And when I'm finished, based on repeated addition and what I know about multiplication, two layers of 10, 10 plus 10, or 10 times 2 would be 20 unit cubes. That would be the total volume of this rectangular prism. So again, familiarizing ourselves with length, width, and height, those will come important, important as we continue through our units and volume throughout the year. Length is how long, width is how wide, height is how tall. Okay, we can use all of that information and all those different side views to determine the total volume. So we were correct that the base layer was 10, so was the top layer. Two layers of 10 make 20 cubic units. Now look at this rectangular prism. How many unit cubes make up the base layer or the top layer? Can we look at the sides? Can we look at the top to determine how many are in a layer and how many layers comprise that rectangular prism? So if I, I can't really see the bottom layer, but I can see this top really well, two, four, six. It's like there are six unit cubes in one layer. What if you looked at this front facing view? I see three, six, nine in this layer. And it looks like there's another layer behind it. So you can even look at the front, count that layer, that vertical layer as one, and then count the second layer behind to find the volume. So what if we're having kind of a hard time visualizing? Well, there is an online resource you can use, toytheater.com backslash cube. Your teacher can give you the link to this. And we can use this to create rectangular prisms. Okay, so I know that this was three layers of six unit cubes. So I just click and drag here. Here's my first layer of six. Here's my second layer of six. And here's my third layer of six. And I can kind of drag it around to get a better view of the top, the side, the front, and I can use all of that information to determine what was that total volume. Well, three layers of six, I know three times six is 18 unit cubes, so I bet that's my total volume. There were six unit cubes in a layer, three layers tall, 18 cubic units makes the total volume of this shape. So before we end, I do want to go back and what if we did a irregular shape? So let's look. What if I gave you something that looked like this? Okay. Can we look at all these different side views to figure it out? It looks like that bottom layer here has one, two, three, four, five, and then I had two more on top. So five plus two would be seven. What if I added another one right here? Oh my goodness. So you could use all these different side views to help you out to figure out the total volume of an irregular shape too. So let's go back. Our learning target was to determine the volume of a figure given the top side or front view. Try some of these on your own. If you need more support, rewatch our video and reach out to your teacher.